Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Mega Modded. Let's jump in once again. We are on an 11 streak, doing pretty well. And I am back after a small hiatus. I say hiatus. Ooh, Tainted Andromeda. Ha <laughs> ah, ha. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, no. Oh no, 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 no. Thank you, game, for this bountiful streak loss. Anyways, Tetrodromeda is looking awesome now. They've done some graphical overhauls to him, and they look really good. Uh, this is a room that I feel is um, almost guaranteed damage for me, so let's... Yep, there you go. I told you. Nope, nope, nope. This is bad. This is bad. This is all bad. Oh, my lord. I just wanted a chill run. I've just come back. I've, I've been, like, away for, like, four days, so I haven't played Isaac, and I was like, cool. We can have a chill little time. We can have a nice little relaxing little, uh, uh, sadness, sadness. Now, I love this character, but for real, he is incredibly difficult. Um, or at least he can be, and I particularly find him incredibly difficult. Especially when there's balls of fury chasing after me. This is a really cool looking, ch I know that this champion obviously exists in a lot of different kinds, but this, this guy looks really good with this champion recolor on him. I don't know why. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Forever pain. Forever pain. But yes, I've, I've been uh, I've been seeing my family. Oh god. Oh god. Why does everything exist? Holy hell. Um, th what what is this room? There's so many enemies. I think normally I'd be absolutely fine with this, but tainted Andromeda. Hell no. But yeah, let's get straight to the question of the day. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Um. I, I don't really know the best one, but I'm going to kind of base it. I went I went home to see family um, and friends. So, like, who's who's a person that you rarely see but really enjoy your time with? Whether it be a family member or a friend. Why did I even go in here? To be fair, I'm pretty happy I did because I got a justice card, um, which is going to be pretty darn useful. But, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know really why I went in there. That wasn't a very good idea, was it? Um, yeah, who's, who's a... Who's a person that you don't see very often, but you really enjoy, like, you're spending time with or, or just seeing? Because I've got a friend um, that I only ever see when I go home. I actually went to uni with him, and I, I went to university in my hometown. This was a very stonking good, uh... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Right, do we try and look for a secret room? I will try here. Yes. Secret room item, come my way. Forget me now. Ooh, this is pretty useful, actually. I, I mean, it's not amazingly useful. It's pretty useful. Damn it, I was hoping for at least a pill. Uh, anyways, let's uh, let's keep her going. Yeah, and there's a friend that I only ever see now when I go home, because he still lives in my hometown. Um, home city, should I say. And yes, yeah, so I don't see him too often, but it's always good to see him. Always. Um, and now he's got a car, so hopefully he can drive and see me a little more often, which would be pretty awesome. Um... And yeah, it's just kind of a shame that, like, I, it's like I've, n I've not fallen out of touch with them at all. Like, I still talk to them reasonably often, but it's just, yeah, it's a shame when you have a friend like that that you end up having, for whatever reason, like, you don't really have the ability to see them as often. It's, 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 it's nice when you get to, like, catch up. What on earth? Why? <laughs> Someone was like, hey, let me waste your time also. What is this? No, 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 I need my charges. No, ah, you... Fuckers. <laughs> Who did this? Which one? There better be a... There's not even a good reward at the end of the tunnel. Thoroughly depressed. That was... I should have just used my death card, shouldn't I? Took all my heckin' charges. As this character, that's just depressing. <laughs> that's just depressing. Oh, my lord. Anyways, let's continue onwards. Ooh. Boy. There is some stonks going on here. Right. There isn't any way, right, in which I can get all this money, is there? Um, I don't think so. I can at least get this money, though. Thank you. I think that's good enough. I'm going to use my death card in here. I get my charge. I'm honestly just going to pop it here. We got marbles, which is pretty decent. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Give me Eden's blessing. And we're just going to uh, forget me now on this floor. The first floor is normally pretty easy. We get more charges, all that good stuff. Um, and also, 
it means we've freed up our space bar slot pretty early, which I think is very, very good for us. Oh, this is a really good Tainted Andromeda room. But yes, I went home, and uh, luckily it was really nice weather, which is obviously a complete surprise for living in the UK. Um, but I uh, managed to see my friend, we had a nice walk, and I did actually get to see my parents, but unfortunately, like, the day before I came home, they both got COVID, so I wasn't able to see them properly. I had to, like, sit in the garden and, like, sit across from them, but it was still nice to see them nonetheless. My mum was a little bit depressed, because my mum's, she's not, I wouldn't say she's needy, my mum's, like, she really likes to, uh, to catch up as often as possible. So it was a little depressing that um, she was really excited to see um, see me, and I didn't really get the chance. Blowing Hourglass is a very good pick up here. Very much like that. Uh, yeah, so that was, that was a little bit of a shame. But here we are. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering now how Eden's uh, the Eden's Blessing Leaf is going to work. So what it normally does is replaces items when you find them with Eden's uh, Blessing. But is that going to work with items spawned via Singularity? I think it would. I think it would, but I, I don't actually know for sure. Alright, good, good. There's a Pyron doing his thing. Ooh, one second. One second. You may be thinking, ooh, maybe he had to, like, go and do a work-related thing or someone called him. No, my nose just started itching really bad. While held, Devil Rooms contain a choice between Devil Deals. Um, ooh. Nah. Broken Hearts, they're good, but not really my, not really my style at the minute. What? <laughs> we got another one. We go again. Um, tier size up. Now, tier size up is incredible for us. I'm very happy with that. Tier size up is going to help us a lot. Yeah, this is um, quite, quite interesting. We've managed to get ourselves the first floor again. Oh, also, actually, the honey might be like a lot better than I was expecting too. Because though I forget the, how like ridiculously large the honey creep is. Oh my god, I've got a small bit of a cold, and my um, my ears are a little bit blocked up, and it's it's weird. So everything sounds a little distorted. But yeah, tier size up is is a huge huge benefit for this guy. As you can see, it just makes it so much easier for us to hit what we want to hit. Um, obviously, it can make it a little hard to hit specific things when there's more targets, but for the most point, most part, as long as I'm hitting an enemy, I literally don't care. <laughs> as long as something is dying. Also, the slowdown is is pretty impressive too. It's pretty nice. Can you die, sir? You're really walking the the the, the tightrope there. I think I'm going to go for another shop item. I, I'm really intrigued by the shop item meta with this guy. I think you can get some really good stuff. Do remember that we might end up getting an Eden's Blessing, so that's a little iffy. But yeah, I think the I think the shop item meta is potentially pretty good. Obviously, if we get more space bar items, I'll be a little sad. But like getting a Keeper's Sack or something could be awesome. We'll pop that in here. Spawns an extra item pair shop. These items are money themed. That's actually pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. And we'll go to the next floor, or should I say, we'll restart the first floor again. Um, <laughs> oh my god, imagine if we just get stuck in this infinite loop. We're just perpetually playing floor one. Yeah, and then I really like the fact that we have glowing hourglass, because the thing is with this character, it's so easy for one room to change everything. For one room to just be a colossal failure. And to have the option to say, no colossal failure... I'll have a, I, ah, I'll have what she's having. I don't, I am just fumbling right now. Like this room, for example, if I get hit again, I'm just going to redo it. I don't know why there's little spiders in this room. I kind of get it, but also stop. <laughs> Dude, can you stop spawning troll bombs, please? I'd like to, Dude, stop it. Thank you. Okay, that didn't go too badly. Didn't go too badly. But yeah, we can have an out for if, if things go pretty bad. We also, actually, something I didn't think about, we can now actually check uh, item rooms to see if they have, like, pennies and stuff in them or, like, cards, and then teleport out of them again. So I don't have to do that, but having the option is kind of nice. Like, just, just for example, I can go in here. There was nothing in here, so I just undo it. I, I think I haven't got any planetarium chance yet because I technically haven't skipped an item room yet. Um... I don't know, maybe that's secret room? Maybe not. 
Oh, I, I, I kind of love the fact that the slow also works on uh, flying enemies too. You get slow on impact as well as slow on creep, which is really, really good. I know this... Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, this time I'm going to go for a regular one. I just... Stupid. Didn't mean to use that. <laughs> Did not mean to use that. I meant to use my singularity if that wasn't obvious. Come here, you. Yeah, I was going to use this on a regular one. Block projectiles, change of state on hit. Yeah, whatever. Decent. Not great, but decent. Having slow on these guys is imperative. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. But yes, also, another question of the day. Question of the day to Electric Boogaloo. How's your day going? How 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 are you doing? What we got here? We got a card, I think. Two of diamonds. Nice. That was a really, really terrible usage of that. So I'm going to keep my two of diamonds for now. Like, I thought that was going to give me a lot, lot more. Right. We've also got our... Um, Space bright and ready again. I'm, I'm kind of curious as to how good this sponge is going to be. It seems to, yeah, so it like fills up with tears and then explodes. It's pretty obvious what it would do. Cool little item there. Uh, but I don't know like how good it's going to be. How easy is it to fill? How easy is it for the shots to, um, shots to hit when they overfill? Like, I'm not really sure. Dude, come on now. You didn't have to hit me there, did you? Um, and then I'm going to go for another shop item. I'm I'm really I'm really into the shop meta here. Bad options is pretty good. Although didn't I I'm, I say bad options is pretty good. I'm pretty sure bad options got a pretty heavy nerf, which is fine. But uh, it used to work in a way in which um, it used to work in a way in which it would give you a choice of two items, but now. Instead, it just works like um, Tinted Isaac does, where it swaps between two pedestals. So we've got to watch out for that and not get not get uh, tricked up by it, because we could easily accidentally fumble and pick up the wrong item. And of course, bad options means you get a bad item, a zero quality item, which means it wouldn't be that great to pick up for the most part. I think th there is some zero quality items that I'd take over another item, but for the most part, not a great idea. Right. We're doing pretty well, though. Health is a little on the low side, but we're doing okay. God damn it, it got rid of that. That's that's just evil. I will take the soul heart, though, here. Most deaf, most deaf. Okay, another one of these. So what we can do, actually, something I haven't really thought about, is we can Singularity. We got Diplopia. Hmm. Hmm. I am going to leave that there, and I'm going to come back for it. But it does swap, so we've got to be very careful we don't accidentally take the wrong item in this situation here. Um, but yes, we, we have kind of a... Oh, God, that was close. Uh, we have kind of an interesting thing here, because what we can do is... I'm going to play out the whole floor, wait until the boss, then grab Diplopia. I just want to have... Uh, I'd rather have our time spinny-backy thing on us for the majority of the time, um, rather than holding Diplopia, which doesn't charge or give us any benefit, but then we're going to take Diplopia into the Devil Deal and hopefully get some benefit from it that way. That's kind of my idea right now. I don't know if it's a good idea. It might not be, but it's my idea. God damn it. What the hell's this? Chance to spawn a random locust when collecting coins, bombs, or keys. Um, chance to increase pickup rarity. That is too good to pass up. And of course it's a, a Repentance Plus thing, so of course it's too good. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love your Repentance Plus, even though your balance is a bit boxed. I love you. This is a very, very awkward room to get out of the way of the throwing buckets on. But luckily, I'm a pro. So now we're going to go back. By the way, our Planetarium chance hasn't increased at all. So maybe... maybe um. Glowing hourglassing out of the item room didn't work. Right, make sure to take the right one. The Plopia, good. Also, two of diamonds, we're getting close. I won't use it yet. I want to get to like 20 cent and then use it. Right. Slash 
slightly hard room here, but we do have five bombs. Fuck you for telefragging me. I hate that he can do that. You little beast. God damn it. You little beast. Him being slowed is, is pretty nice here. And him being bombed is even nicer. Right. I don't know why the music's gone off. That is li a little eerie. It's just with the noise of him, like, splashing out of the walls is really weird. There you go. Ah, I'm stuck on a... I'm stuck on a bit. Right, so there's our devil deal. Let's pop it in here. What? I'm stupid. Diplopia's useless. <laughs> I suppose I can do this, though. I can go... Pop. And I can, for some reason, get two of them. Nope, that's not what I wanted to take. But actually, that kind of works out. There you go. That didn't really go the way I planned it to. But now we have more of the void, which is super, super strong for us. Because now we have a uh, uh, way to deal, deal damage that isn't directly from the portal. Which I think is going to be imperative to our survival over the course of this run. That was very close, though. I almost messed up there. But yeah, now we can do stuff like that. And it's like, do I even care about the uh, <laughs> the singularity in the middle? No. <laughs> the singularity is completely optional now. Right, let's crack this bad boy open. And get justice. And justice. Entropy is very nice. You took... Why did it open the chest? It took my two of diamonds. You... Do you know what? You gave me Pyromaniac. I'm going to say that that's... I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm going to say that I'll, I'll give you the pass on that one. So we also got Entropy here. Entropy's kind of busted. Um, essentially, when we fire a tier, we have a chance to fire more tiers. Which, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be pretty crazy. All in all, this is a good run. But yeah, I had, a, I had a pretty good weekend, really. Um, like I said, I got to see family. It was lovely and warm. I've got a day off today as well because it's a bank holiday, so today is really good too. All in all, I'm just having a good time. Next week's going to be a little bit difficult. Um, I've got like a lot of stuff to do at work. We're hiring a bunch of new people, so that's just a lot of work in general. Then my girlfriend is... she She's a camera operator. I think I've mentioned it a few times before. But yeah, she's a camera operator. And she mainly does sporting events. So she's doing uh, cricket at the minute. And we live in a city where cricket's pretty big. Um, and it's like the new cricket season's just started. Which means essentially she's got two weeks of non-stop cricket. Including the weekends. So it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a rough time for her. And obviously kind of for me as well. Because I'm just not going to see her for ages. Um, more so for her than for me, though. But yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a little rough. Honestly, more of the void is a run winning item as this guy. I'd rather not use it on this guy. Though. What the the creep under the honey was still there, even though it visually wasn't there. Evil game. Three dollar bill. <laughs> How could you do this to me? Three dollar bill. I kind of hope I get Dr. Fetus now. At, the, at this point, I'm kind of just going for... Um, going for anything I can with items. I'm just going to use it in, like, normal rooms and stuff. We've got so many bombs that I might as well get charges like this. We'll pop that. we got Tiny Turma. Tiny Turma's not amazing, but it is pretty good. I do like Tiny Turma. I feel like it's one of those ones that you can actually get quite a lot out of if you play it right. Secret room here. Some extra pennies. We're getting quite a lot of locusts for our pennies here, which is good. What you got for me? I might I might just do a boss item this time as well, just to get some extra stats. I'd like some fire rate. Some damage would also be good. Oh my god. One thing that you can probably tell already is entropy is a little laggy. <laughs> the way that it's coded, the way that it like generates items is not... Okay. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go and actually use it in the uh, thingy room here. Shop. Key bum. Oh, 
Wait. Okay, that just took all my money. I, I didn't. I didn't like that. I thought that was an active item. <laughs> Wasn't a fan of that. This is good. A bed is uh, three free soul hearts. <sighs> Staples, very nice. Obviously, we can't actually see what's under this, so we have to be okay with going down to the next floor, but I think we are. It was the next floor. Yeah, I think things are going well. Another thing that I hadn't really thought about, which is a very good use of glow glowing hourglass, is we can use our singularity, see what the item is, and then just decide to use a different pool. So we get like two choices of what pool we use. Because if, if the shop item ends up being trash, we can just go, nah, which is what I should have done there, which is what made me think of it. Um, I should have actually just gone, actually, this shop item is kind of trash. Undo, go, go try the boss pool instead. That's a, it's a pretty good use. Glowing Hourglass has a lot of uses as, as this character. A lot, of, oh my god. Mate, this honey blocking creep is, is not good. I don't even know if that was creep that hit me there, but I'm just generally saying it. The honey puddles are too big. God damn more of the void, you beautiful bastard. Petrify poop there. The world is rather nice here for us. Finding our secret room is very good because should be a lot of consumables, a lot of pickups in there. Okay, you guys need to chill. But look at that. It's just I'm clearing the whole room and I don't have to worry at all about his Difficult firing mechanics. I've circumvented the law. Beautiful. Hopefully the secret room gives us another charge. I could try. This Actually, that's a good idea, you know. What I could do is, I could try the secret room for singularity, and if I don't get anything, I can undo it. This is unfortunately not a great room for us. Like, what I can do is I can pop this. There's a 50-50 chance I get an item from here. So I can pop it. And I did get an item. I got charity. Unjams the donation machine every floor. Using the donation machine increases um, angel room chance. Taking damage makes you drop coins. Enemies can drop coins and become charmed. Seems good enough. I think enemies dropping coins and us dropping coins on damage is very good. Just because obviously that means that we can potentially get more charges. God, Entropy. Why are you so laggy? It's a great item, but goddamn is it coded like a bag of shit. <laughs> Apologies to the creator, but it's true. I, I'm not I'm not even just um saying it like from an uninformed point of view. One of the mod one of the uh, mod creators of another mod took a look at it and said, what the what the F happened here? <laughs> Apparently the way it's done is is not okay. <laughs> and it causes a lot of issues. But it's still a fun item, nonetheless, so I will still take it. We'll pop in here real quick. I might be able to, to get that chest, the golden one, over towards me. I will pop this pill. Okay, it was a telepills, unfortunately. Beautiful. Ow. Oh, we, we gulped our trinket. Nice. So we'll pop in here. So I'm going to check this out. This time we get fanny pack, which I think is well worth it. Um, then we get all of these. Yeah, I think fanny pack is well worth it. Just because, obviously, with fanny pack, um, getting hit now drops coins and additional stuff on top of that. Which, any stuff we pick up is going to be helpful for us. So yeah, if we stand over here, it's going to take a bit of time. But the chest will eke its way towards us over the spikes. I love the fact that things can travel over spikes so easily like that. It's very useful. So make, make sure it's fully cleared of the spikes here. And we'll pop it open. We did get a two of diamonds. I'm sure I'll pop that this time. Not losing it again. Right. Let's go and check out this room real quick. see. It's you fellas. 
Right, bomb there maybe. Yeah, it's beautiful. And even beautifuler. Right, so we can pop that again. Didn't get anything, so we undo. And we can redo the room. That's a really good little tactic there, you know? That's a really good little tactic. I like that a lot. We could get an Angel or Devil deal room here, so let's save our charge. And we got the Fallen, nice. Good, you're dead. And basically, our actual tiers are just used for honey now. Okay, so we did get an angel deal, nice. We'll pop in here, and we'll go boom, and boom. So, of course, Holy Mantle is perfection itself. Then what, what do we get here? We got the Jar, Breath of Life, and Humility. I don't know why there's three here. What's Humility do? Um, ma max random enemy in the room. Uh, take double damage. When that enemy dies, another is marked. Okay, that's pretty good. Also, Breath of Life Resprite looking very nice. Yeah, I don't know why we got three rerolls on that there, but I'll take it. Uh, go down. I think I think with Holy Mantle, we're pretty much set to go here. We pretty much have a good winning run. More of the Void is, is of course, the, the carrying factor. But Holy Mantle makes everything a bit easier for us, really. I really like this humility. This is cool. Good. Having a random enemy might take double damage. At least in smaller rooms and boss rooms. If it works on bosses especially, we're going to have effectively double damage in these smaller rooms. One moment. Okay, let's carry on. Let's go. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy with it. I'm, I'm just very happy with everything we've managed to gain here. We've got a lot of good stuff going on. There you go. Yeah, humility seems great. Good, good. Oh, these enemies. God damn it. They always like, sometimes they're just like, nope, I'm just going to bumble about, not jump at all, never jump. And then other times they're like, insta jump before you can hit me even once. Oh lord. That was, a, that's a very good pill. <laughs> Suplex, unfortunately, isn't really what we want. I also don't think Key Beggar is going to be very good for us. I'm just going to leave both of those. Oh, I should have undone, I should have undid the room. I'm a moron. I keep forgetting I can do that. God damn it. God damn it. It's just, it's, it's not like, it's not hardwired into my brain yet that we could do that. I wish m money was a little less useless with this guy. High Priestess, no thank you. I will be uh, not using that ever. We do have a golden pill here. Cyanide. Every two uses gives us a, a charge, I think. Gulp, tears down, 40 RNG. Our energy. Red candle, black bean. So this is this is a usage where popping this is a good idea. I know that we have to rebuy everything and stuff, but buy that. Go boom, boom. Shot speed up. Tears down is a bit unfortunate. Right, so this time, let's go out here and pop it. Go Q. And we get... Boomerang's actually decent because we don't have flight. I'll take that. And then instead, let's keep popping this. Burp. I don't want it on one makes you larger, thank you. Relax. This is going for a while, this one. Lemon party. I like the way it's still giving us charges, though. I'm liking that. Health. We just keep getting health ups as well. Oh, we got it again. Right, so this time, we'll go out here again. Stop giving us key bum. Oh my lord. Right, just undo this again. Grab that. I just want to check something. If I use singularity in here. Okay, it doesn't give me the same as last time. Um, converts battery pickups into... 
I'll take him. Why not? Why not? You can have that battery. You have the pill. Amnesia. We already had amnesia, you fool. Can, can you stop giving me one makes you larger pills, please? Another one of these. That's pretty good. I'll take it. It just keeps going. It just keeps going. Bad trip again. Yuck. My god. This is the craziest golden pill. I don't know what that is. My shadow. It's terrible, but I'll take it. Can this fuck like bloody pixelated thing stop too? Keeper's penny is insane. Holy shit! Why is that even in the shop pool? That's dumb. I kind of understand, but it's also completely crazy. Really annoying that this pill keeps following me. It just keeps going. It just keeps going. I've been using this golden pill for 16 years. I've used it, I've been using it so long the music has stopped. The day the music dies. This, this, whatever this is, is crazy. That's such a good pill effect. Also, I'm apparently now dealing double damage to my own familiar, which is a strange thing to have. Pins and needles effect. Unfortunately, that's not really one that I want. At this point, though, I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna zoom myself out of this room because I've been in the room so long. It seems like a bad idea. <laughs> Just take the phantom pains. Will it ever stop? Hour energy. Will this golden pill ever cease to exist? I'm guaranteeing it doesn't. <laughs> Just like the most charges you can ever get. Phantom Pains is proving to be very good as well. I just can't believe it. How is it still going? Up speed, down. Just tell me how. <laughs> right, what we got here? Right, these pills need to get the hell out of the way. Hour Let me look at what this item does. We got all shop items will act um as if they are and then we've also got boost soul stones all shops items will act as if it doesn't matter because we, we can't get shop items why does that keep happening i'm gonna take this scrying stone it's still going how <laughs> On it's still going. <laughs> the fuck is happening right now? Look how small he is. Ooh, dry baby. Hello. Hello, my baby. Hello, my brother. Hello, my ragtime gal. Okay, it, is, it seems to be hard locked what we get from um, the singularity. So it doesn't matter what room we're in. Tears up. This is crazy. Someone needs to work out the odds of, of this golden pill lasting this long. Is it genuinely... I, I am starting to suspect that it is actually broken, though. 
Like, there, there's no way it should last this long, right? Okay. Are you kidding me? No. I'm not having that. <laughs> that was the worst choice of items you could possibly give me. <laughs> Dark one's decent here. This is nuts. <laughs> Ooh, we got a soiled heart. We can't pick it up at the minute, though. I, I'm, I'm, I know that we're going to be here a while, but I'm genuinely interested to keep doing this to see. Is it just going to, like, is it ever going to stop? It's, it's nuts. Will it ever stop? Canes of the Rye, Fruity Plum, hell yeah. Probably been wasting some charges there, I wasn't thinking about my items. Stop giving me Retrovision! It's gone! It's finally gone! That was the most cracked golden pill of all time. I must have used it about 70 times. Legitimately. I, I, I genuinely think I must have used it near to 100 times. Someone needs to go and do the maths on that. That was honestly completely ridiculous. Yeah, so unfortunately, as long as this little worm dude exists, we're completely burned. Stop trying to give me cursed eye game. Yeah, as long as this little worm dude exists, we're kind of burned because we can't get double damage on anything else. We are a little large, which isn't great. We are a little large. It's good. Down we go. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is genuinely nuts. Oh, and we get the uh, the golden penny here. Which only gives us a certain amount of charges. It, it, yeah, I gotta say, it's not unlimited. It still gives us like three or four charges at the start of every floor, though. Yeah, come on, little worm dude. You need to die so that we can start. Oh, no, I think he did die. There you go. The fool. My Shadow. But yeah, one of the great things about um, bad options is even if you get a zero quality item like My Shadow, My Shadow is better than an active item that I can't pick up. Always. Whether whether it's a bad item or not, it's better to have that than an item that I literally can't do anything with. Oh damn, we got a cool chest over there that we can't get. Grab that. Oh, we can't. Doesn't matter. How have we still got unidentified pills? Despite the golden pill, I still think we took a lot of regular pills, too. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. We haven't found a planetarium yet, so we should go and have a look, because I, I reckon this is the floor we get a planetarium, right? I mean, it's got to be. We've got an 81% chance. You'd think it'd be on this floor, if any. Yeah, this has been truly ridiculous. I, I genuinely, like, we gained one, two, no. We gained one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen items off of that one golden pill. <laughs> thirteen items. The best golden pill to ever exist. Whoopsie. If I don't get a planetarium this floor, I'm going to be really shocked. Okay, there you go. I got it. There is one. That would have been bizarre. Okay, good. Good. 
Saturnus is pretty nice here. Ooh, Soul of Lilith too. Hello. Scary Shadow. Also, how much do these cost now? Okay, they do cost a decent amount now. Good. Ooh, so we actually get... So, one thing I just want to quickly take a look at, because I'm pretty sure this was an idea by Never Named um, for an item, and I think it's just been implemented recently to Ipecac, is... What, this item here. Scrying Stone. Boosts to all runes and soul stones, much like Tarot Cloth. So, Bacano is going to give us some extra effects here. I think that's a really, really cool idea for an item. Like, this is a Degas. It didn't actually tell us what this one did, but I'll use it anyways. The animation for these little dudes is so good. Yeah, I don't know why I'm not getting the uh, EID description now. I think that, like, using this breaks EID sometimes. I'd love to know what, what I'm getting out of that, but I can't, unfortunately. Oh, that killed him. <laughs> uh, I I just I just realized I think the Hagendaz rune, uh, the, the special effect that that one gets is that it does the Mama Mega explosion. So it just killed him. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh, I've got 666 damage. But where the beast? Right, grab my fool card. We're meant to be doing the beast right. Yes, we are. So I grab my fool card and I'm on my way. Do, 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 do. Let's go. This has been a really fun run. I like breaking the game. It's nice. No cast die for us, thank you. Right. You do your thing, sir. Well, this time we get something different, whatever this is. Rogue Planet. Whoa! What the hell? Oh! Yes! The best item to ever exist! Yes, it's back! So, by the way, if, you, if you're wondering why I'm just, like, having an absolute fit over how cool this item is. There was an item in Ipecac called um, called Tiny Moon, which essentially was exactly like this. It had a little planet going around you, like this orbit, and it was a zero quality, essentially. Obviously, didn't have zero qualities in AB+, but you know what I mean. Um, and essentially, it did this. You fire, and it orbits around that. And they removed it because it was pretty janky, but I loved it. It was so stupid. It, it, like, it was not a good item at all, but I absolutely adored it. And uh, it's back uh, because I believe it has been added by um, something wicked, which is releasing very soon, by the way. Um, so keep your eye out for that. But yeah, uh, it's awesome. And with this character, it's pretty broken, so I'm in love. As you can see, we now have this orbiting mess of tears, which is going to just destroy anything that's in its path. We grab that. Quickly go in here, pop one of them out. Oh, okay, okay. I was going to say Tricycle, but what about Tiny Planet? <laughs> we have 72 range! Why? <laughs> We have 72 range. What does that even mean? <laughs> I don't even know what Tiny Planet does with this guy regularly. We now have Tiny Planet and the Orbiting Buddy. We got something going on. This is confusing in many a ways, but I love it. What a great character to get this on. And then as well, if we still have trouble hitting things, we still have more of the Void, remember. Right, keep it going. I also got uh, Rubber Cement in there too. I really don't know what Rubber Cement's doing for us, but I got it. Oh, this is 
quite delicious. Buttermilk, why you have to go? Why you have to leave me? God damn it, that was useless. Boom, do that again, but this time, use it outside the door. I love this tactic that we're able to do here. Punching bag, go. I'm just like a whirling ball of tears at all time. It's amazing. Je <laughs> like, look at this. <laughs> this is so incredible. I love this. I love this. This is so stupid. Come to Papa. Beautiful. Don't step to me, son. You can't handle the truth. Almost do another charge as well. We've only got one look so far, but we've been getting pretty lucky with room drops. The Emperor. I did that just for the charge. I'm gonna pop that. Wait, what? This isn't right. I really do want my reflection though. I don't know what this chili does, but I want it. Damage up. Yeah, I shouldn't. It, bad options shouldn't work on that. <laughs> That's not a good idea. The hell happened then? I think I accidentally used my spacebar item. Give me the chili. And this is why. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Can I just give myself dad's note? I hope this works. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, you might want to you might want to uh, add a, a story item prevention thing going on there because that's uh, just a little box. Just a little box. I can't believe we have 72 range. It's madness. Yeah, I, th I genuinely think that use that sometimes using um, using this bad boy, whatever it's called, this just Dead Sea Scrolls just completely destroys the ID and stops it working for the rest of the run. Weird, but it's what it is, I suppose. I don't really want the golden coin. I'm just kind of using it to uh, get charges. You're dead. <laughs> There's a swarm of tears on you, sir. You are going to die. Alright, let's just do one more room to try and get a single penny. Okay, we don't we can't spawn items on this anyways. Okay, that's fine. That works for me. Oh my god. The quickest flaw you've ever done you've ever done seen. Full cards OP. Okay, we are getting this double damage on single enemies as well, which is really nice. I'm wonder, I, I am wondering, I've not really been checking if it's going to work on the story bosses. I've not really been looking to see if it's worked on any bosses, I'll be honest. I don't know, by, by the way, because we have, like, redonkulous range, does that mean that these tears are just staying in the air for a really long time, like they're not expiring? Is that what's happening? Is that one of the reasons we're so OP? One of the many, many reasons. <laughs> this run's a lot of fun, though. As, as, I, I like, as much as I prefer runs that aren't completely steamrolling the game, like, these are fun because I do get, like, a nice opportunity to just chat with you guys and, like, talk about the brokenness of Isaac. But it's also just fun to see how much Isaac can break. We also got one of them, which is good. It's always fun to see that you can do stuff like this with modding. Always fun. Oh, 
Calm such a bitch. Just let me hit you. It takes so long to be able to be hit. Just rude. Come here, Palty, Palty, Palty. Min Min. <laughs> you think you could stop me, Min Min? No one could stop my 72 range. I am unstoppable. I am a force to be reckoned with. I'm really curious to see how this works in the beast fight, because I know that Tiny Planet has some really weird physics in the beast fight. So I'm, I'm interested to see what happens. Oh, we got Beelzebub now as well, which is convenient for these floors. God damn. Please don't leave us. God damn. I also think we're having like this kind of strange, I wouldn't say issue, but like because we have a ridiculous range, we also have a ridiculous tier height. I look how high up all our tiers are. <laughs> it's pretty nuts. Hello, I guess. Also, Entropy seems to be just firing whenever it wants now. It doesn't seem to really care. Like, I, like I'm not firing when all these tiers are about. Entropy's just doing its thing. Hey, Dogma. How's it going? That was very loud for some reason. You can try and hit me all you like, but I don't really care. I have a massive swarming ball of fear looming above you. That never dies. The tears just never die. It just becomes this mass. Like, <laughs> the longer we spend in a room, the more broken things get. Because <laughs> the tears are just not disappearing. We've just become this cancerous blob. Hey, oh my god. Look at the damage when it passes over him. By the way, if you stand inside this ball as he's firing it, it doesn't hit you. <laughs> so it's just like, yeah, I'm just going to chill here. You can do what you like, but I'm just going to stand right here. The cancerous mass consumes all it touches. Ah, oh, I was standing a little off there. And that one's, like, not even on screen. But anyways, you're dead. Um. Hello? That was weird. <laughs> Hey, just wait, just, just give us a minute, we'll get there. Big pill, do not take double addicted, very bad idea. I'm pretty sure using our space sprite will take us back to the dogma fight, so that's kind of out of the question as well. Oh my god, the cancerous mass, it's growing. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> oh my god. What a wonderful life. Hey Pestilence. How you doing? We have something for you. It's lots and lots and lots of high dosage radiation. Straight to the brain. To be fair, he does kind of already look like he's been through that. Cat, damn. Like, I, can I even be hit at this point? <laughs> I'm like face palming right against this guy. I love the little circle it's made here. Okay, I did actually get hit that time. I'm trying to use the mum's tail knife thing to do some extra damage too. Not a good idea. The one sort of biggest problem we're having right now is a tier can only hit an enemy once. So we have this massive, like, 
just mass of tears. But then, like, once it's hit the enemy, it can't hit the enemy again. Yeah, the gravity is definitely doing some very strange things here. Hello, sir. You are boned. Ah, he direct impacted me with it. Bastard. Ow, that hit me again. Okay, maybe I need to be a little more careful. I'm taking a lot of hits that I shouldn't be taking. I'm just so confident that, it can, that I can kill them quickly if I get close enough that I'm trying to do it, but I don't actually need to. I can also kill them fairly easily without doing that. Okay. Oh, this has been stressful. It's death time. Hey, sir. How are you doing? <laughs> when he's, I can say, when he spawns these, these sites are going to just get destroyed straight away. It's going to be very hard for them to hit us. Oh, I say that and I still get hit by one. I'm an idiot. One of them came in, sort of, back through him. He's also been a little bitch and sitting in the corner, which is really, really, really annoying for us right now. I really hope I can kill him before this phase is over. Which is looking plausible right now. Yeah, I think he's dead. Got him. Okay, it's time for death. I really want to know what this would look like without Tiny Planet. I don't know if Tiny Planet is really adding to it much. It's funny, nonetheless. This thing has, like, the gravitational pull of the fucking sun. There's literally a black hole in the middle of the room, and this little tiny dude has more gravitational pull. It's funny. I just love the fact that it makes, like, a passing sweep. It's like, nope, 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 no damage, no damage, no damage, and then all of a sudden it's like, all of the damage. And it's just clearing anything in its wake. It's great. Also, I should be using bombs here, too. Bombs do a lot of damage against this guy. They're very easy to hit. Do your worst, sir. And then this, he's just going to pull... Actually, I was just going to say he's going to pull our tears in towards him, but he can't. Like I said, the gravitational pull is just so strong. We can keep using bombs, though, and he'll just eat them up. Good old dry baby doing his thing. Okay, he's on to his last phase. Good, good. I think at this point we, we don't need to care about being hit, do we? Every time we get a passing strike, it does quite a lot. If we had piercing, this would be even more nuts. Nice. That was beautiful. What a crazy run. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.